Hi, this is JB from Not Lots of Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough. And this time we are playing Return to the Path to Carcosa. And we are playing with Patrice Hathaway, which is an interesting investigator. As uh, if you have played her, you will know what I'm talking about. But the deck is bigger than usual, but you will discard your whole hand at the end of each round and uh, draw a new hand in the upkeep phase, so you can't hold on to cards, but your deck will go through uh, fast. Uh, I also decided to try out uh, the tarot reading with the balanced tarot for this campaign, so I will be drawing one upwards and one uh, reversed tarot cards during each scenario. Of course, as I did that decision, I built the deck and I got the damned uh, for my weakness, so I will be drawing an extra uh, reversed tarot card for each scenario, so we'll see how far we get with this deck. Uh, speaking of the deck, let's look at what kind of deck I built for Patrice. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com, and here is my Patrice Hathaway Returns to the Pat Carcosa deck. Uh, so nothing really special about this if you have played Patrice. Uh, mainly the assets I will be playing are cheap and um, easy to put down. Uh, moonstones are really good in Patrice because you will be discarding them, so you can uh, play them from your discard pile. And they boost uh, the willpower, which is uh, crucial for Patrice, and also some intellect, uh, or not intellect, but agility boost. Uh, I decided to go a bit different role with the uh, allies, so I have Mysterious Ravens. Uh, fast clues in True Solo are really good, and uh, Patrice has a lot of horror soak, so this won't be a problem to discard for grabbing a clue. Uh, then we have Stray Cats. Uh, these are basically placeholders for uh, the... Well, not placeholders, but I think I will be replacing at least one of these with uh, Miss Doyle. Uh, they are really good in Patrice. Then uh, events. Uh, this is a bit events and skill heavy. Uh, so we have look what I found. Uh, this is usually good in Patrice if you uh, happen to run into some location that has two clues and you just fail it, play this and get two clues. Or you can commit this uh, for a basic investigation. Mm, a test of will, I will be upgrading this, so uh, this should be really good later on when I get it upgraded. It's okay at the start too. Drawn to the Flame, all, always good. I will be using this even for one clue if I get it in, in hand and I don't have a two clue location. Uh, read the signs, also will be playing this immediately if I get it and have clues down. Uh, scrunch for supplies, this is basically just to get some cards that I really need from my discard and I will be having a lot of cards in the discard. Uh, spectral Razor, just for those occasions I need to kill an enemy. Um, mainly I will be trying to avoid enemies, but I have to have some ways to dealing with them. Uh, winging it is really good for Patrice because it will be ending up into the discard pile soon enough. Then uh, last chance is my stable uh, skill card for Patrice usually, so I added those. Uh, then there's manual dexterity. Uh, Promise of power. This is really good for Patrice. I'll only get one curse token into the back, so that's not a problem with four uh, wild icons. Uh, unexpected courage and yeah, manual dexterity. Uh, I opted not to take the fighting um, skill card because I have other skill cards that I can use. If I need to fight. Fire Axe is here just so that I can play it down, then uh, use it to uh, uh, chuck uh, resources out if I need to fight. It just in, just in case weapon, if I don't get the Freewheeling or uh, 
a Spectral Razor. But that is basically Patrice. As I said, I got the Doomed. No, I'm not the Doomed, but the Damned a weakness. So at least there's one less uh, weakness in Patrice's deck. So we have set up the scenario. Before we jump into the first turn, we need to resolve uh, the tarot reading. So I'll grab my tarot card from my tarot box. Then we'll give this a shuffle. And I haven't played with these tarot cards that much yet, so I can't even remember what kind of cards they are. Uh, first I will draw the upward card, which will give us a bonus. Then I'll have to draw the two uh, wrong side cards. So the rest go into this uh, nifty holder I got for the tarot cards. And let's see. So we get strength. When the game begins, each investigator may pay an asset from their hand at minus two cost. Well, that really suits us, so we want to mulligan for an asset to get that down. Then uh, we get judgment reversed. When the game begins, replace the highest non-negative token with chaos back with the skull token. Swap them back after the game ends. Okay, well we have to do that immediately, so I'll do it now. Let's see. Highest non-negative token. Okay, so it is the plus one. So we don't have a plus one, which sucks. Let's see, there's the plus one. I'll just put it here because we will be returning that back to the back. And we have four skulls in the back, which is not nice. Okay. Last one is uh, the star. After an, in, as after an investigator reveals uh, an auto fail token during a skill test, they must either take one damage or one horror. Okay, so those tarot cards were really affecting my... Mm, or are really affecting my uh, chaos back, but it is what it is. So at least we get to play one asset cheaper, but that is all I want to say before we start. So. Let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start the game. So um, I will draw my opening hand. Uh, I'll just give it this um, bit more shuffle. So we start at the theater and uh, we have to remember that the strength gives us uh, minus two to play. Uh, check it. So when the game begins, each investigator may play an asset from their hand at minus two cost. So it doesn't cost an action, and it's minus two cost. So that's really powerful. Let's see what we draw. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and we always can mulligan. Uh, not that good of assets. So I think I'm uh, mulligan in the whole hand. One, two. Five, and we get to re-mulligan that, and we get to play the old key ring for free. That's at least something. We can't play the moonstone because uh, you cannot play or commit moonstone from your hand. So, uh, minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these were mulligan. These are in my hand, so I have double moonstone manual dexterity. So. Uh, I can play the Moonstone from my hand at the start of the... Uh, at the end of the play, player round when I have to discard cards with Patrice in the upkeep phase. Yeah. Okay, just giving the deck a quick shuffle, we are ready to begin. So the old key ring will help us to get clues early on, that's really nice. As Patrice isn't that good at investigating without any help. Okay. So, uh, manual dexterity moon moonstone times two and um, winging it. Okay, first action of the game. We will move to backstage. There is one clue there. We have to reveal two 
backstage doorway. So in the return to the version of this scenario, there are four instead of three. So we get to pick two of these at random. Okay, so we'll get these two. So we put them into play. I'll put, just put them on like, like so. And uh, connection markers down. Okay. Then um, we could investigate for our second action. I'll do that. So we are investigating. I'm using the old keyring. Investigating two versus one. I don't have anything to commit to this test. Actually, yeah. I'll use this, uh, the old keyring. So, two, two versus one. It is an elder sign. Uh, we would be shuffling one, all of our cards from the discard back into our deck, except for one, but we don't have anything in our discard, so uh, we succeed because it's a plus one. We get this clue. Uh, last action, we'll investigate one of these or move into one of these locations. So I'll go here, and it is the prop shop. It is seven shroud. Oh dear. Well, uh, while you are investigating prop shop, it gets minus one shroud for each or on you. After you fail a skill test while investigating the prop shop, take one for So, I'm really hoping to get a, a card that will auto get me a clue from here, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, no enemy actions, so we go to upkeep. Uh, we ready up, uh, discard our hand, draw a new hand, one, two, three, four. Five, and we got the Drawn to the Flame, which will help us get that clue. And we discarded Moonstone, so we can get to play that from our discard. And we get a resource. So that is the upkeep, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We added Doom to the agenda. Uh, encounter card is a swarm of rats. Well, uh, I think we can deal with that. Just uh, need to mark down the rats here, so it's engaged with us. Okay, well, um, I think first action we will be punching the rats. Uh, I'll just commit the unexpected courage, because we are losing all of these. So first action, punch the rats, uh, 4 versus 1. It is a skull, skull is minus 1, minus 3, instead if you have 3 or more horror on you. We don't have any horror on us, so we succeed, the rats are dead. Second action. Uh, we are investigating 2 versus well, we are drawn to the flaming here. So, yeah, uh, we'll get an encounter card. Twisted Twist will, if there is no doom in play, Twisted Twist will against otherwise just X is. So we test willpower 1, where, uh, where X, where X is the amount of doom in play. If you fail, discard two cards from your hand at random. That doesn't matter. We are losing them anyway. So we'll test uh, 5 versus 1. Minus 4. So we barely succeed, but that's enough. And we get this clue. And we still need one more clue. So last action, we'll move back to the backstage. And that is our turn. We discard all of. No, actually, let's not move back. We'll play the uh, Mr. Poulet as our last action, so we don't lose it. Now we have a good way to evade enemies, which is really 
important as we are not good at fighting. Uh, we'll discard these two. Uh, ready up. Oh, yeah, this is discarded. Draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get uh, Wraith the Science, Promise of Power, Fire Axe, Winging It, and Stray Cat. Okay. So, and we get one resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda. 2 of 6. Encounter Guardies. Uh, Poltergeist. So, I think we are just evading and running away from this enemy. It is not in the way. So, first action, we will use Mr. Brule to evade. So, spend one charge, evade. This evasion attempt uses willpower instead of agility. If you succeed after evading the chosen enemy, you may move to a connecting location if a uh, special token is revealed. Uh, during this evasion attempt, choose and discard a card from your hand. Well, that doesn't matter. So we'll just try this. So uh, we are five against four. So I will commit the promise of power. So we are nine against four. I'll add one curse token to bag. Uh, nine against four minus one. We succeed, and we get to move here. And yeah. So this was engaged with us, so now it stays here, and we don't have to mind that. And this was actually a victory for location, so we don't have to go there anymore. Second action, we'll move to the other backstage doorway, and it is the trap room, which will mean um, it has one clue on it. Force, after you reveal the trap room, search and the deck and discard five for one copy of Swarm of Rats and put it into play, engage with you. Two copies instead if there is a three or four investigators in the game, shuffle the encounter deck uh, if it is searched and I'll just grab the rats from here. So we get rats so we will have to fight the rats and uh, I'm actually debating should I take... Uh, should I play the fire axe down? No. So I'm just uh, committing the fire axe to fight. Uh, we are fighting 3 versus 1. Minus 2. That is enough. Rats are dead. And uh, that is all we can do. So no enemy actions. We got upkeep. We ready up. We discard a hand. Draw a new hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And gain a resource. So we have guts, Spectral Razor, look at what I found, Mysterious Raven, read the signs. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start by adding a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is Agent of the King. So uh, this is annoying. We really have to be able to fight this guy or just evade it and ignore it. We don't have good ways to fight it, so... Uh, Spectral Razor would almost kill it, but not enough. So that what doesn't help us. So I think we are just... Uh, just evading, investigating and moving away. So I think that's our turn. First thing we do is to... Uh, we don't have time to play the Mysterious Raven at this point. So, evade using Mr. Brule. 5 versus 2, but we'll commit guts. 6 versus 2. Uh, 7 versus 2. Auto fail, and we have this. So I have to take one damage or one four. I'll take the damage. Well, that sucks. Then I'll have to discard a card to 
Choose and discard a card from your hand. Well, we'll discard this one. Second action. We evade again. This time I'll commit... Uh, I'll commit the read the signs. So 6 versus 2. <laughs> oh my god. We'll take another damage. Uh, so 2 out of hells. Last action. We will just uh, evade. Committing the last of these. 5 versus 2. It is a skull, so it is a minus 1. We evade. Uh, still, this isn't good because next turn we don't have good ways to evade if we don't pull any of, of from our deck. So, that sucks. So, we are in a bit of a pickle. Uh, we go to upkeep, we discard our hand, ready up, disengage us again. We draw five cards, one, two, three, four, five, and gain a resource. So we get uh, perception, promise of power, um, discard for supplies, last chance, and six cents, so... Okay. At least there's something. Well, we'll see. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So four of six encounter cardies. Another enemy. So we are only drawing enemies. This sucks. Okay, well. I think it's double evade. Oh yeah, and this enemy actually takes this clue. And uh, I think we could evade, try to punch this. Yeah, so we can scr uh, scrunch for supplies, uh, Spectral Razor, that sounds good, so I will promise of power evade, we add one uh, curse to the bag, we are evading 5, uh, uh, 6 versus 2, it is a curse token, so 4 versus 2, Elder Sign. This goes away, we succeed. And uh, let's see which card do I will I not need. So I don't want don't need the monster. So these go back into my deck. Then this goes into the discard. And we evade. Then I will Take attack of opportunity by playing the scrunch for. Shoot. Yeah, this uh, my uh, my idea failed immediately <laughs> because of course I. Uh, okay, so let's change it a bit. So instead of the moonstone, we leave the spectral razor in front of this card. So now our plan still works. Oh yeah, and this is in our discard also. Yeah, immediately I forgot that uh, if I <laughs> shuffle the uh, spectral razors into my deck, they are not in my discard, so stupid me. Okay, uh, so scrunch for supplies, 
will grab this, take one attack of opportunity. Uh, this goes into here. So we have the Spectral Razor to fight with. And uh, we'll take the one damage. And we'll, last action, we'll use the Spectral Razor to fight. You are fighting 5, 6, 7 versus 3. Minus one, we will kill it, and we'll get the clue, so we can advance, and we'll advance immediately. Uh, this is, yeah, so we'll use the three clues to advance. Okay, so, choose one of the set-aside locations at random, put that location in play, and spawn the set-aside man in the palette mask enemy at that location, instead of the normal spawning location. Advance to one of the three copies of Act 2 at random, there are a lot more in the return to. Remove the other copies of Act 2 from the game without looking at them. So, we will shuffle these. Get that one, these are removed from the game. And uh, we'll get the man in the, uh, one of the random set aside locations. So just shuffling these and grabbing the one that uh, stays at the bottom. Try not to look at them because it's hard to shuffle these because they have different titles. But it is what it is. So the just cut it once, and the bottom is backstage, which is really good. Usually, my luck, I'll pull the lobby, and we have to have to run around the map. So this spawns here. This guy spawns there, and now we need to go deal with that. And uh, because this is in play, we or we might have be lucky to get a really low shroud location as the backstage, so we could try to parlay with or investigate this guy. Okay, well, uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We discard our hand. We will uh, ready. We will draw a new hand. One, two, three, four, five, and we gain a resource. We get. Perception, last chance, manual dexterity, drawn to the flame, and unexpected courage. I think that's a pretty good hand for next turn, so we need to evade, move, move. So we can't just dump cards into the evade. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next one. We add a doom, five of six. The encounter card is don't be an enemy. It is another enemy. Well, of course it is. Uh, reveal location with the most clues, so I can choose where this goes, because there are no clues anywhere. So I'll put it here, so I don't have to care about it. But we are getting pretty unlucky with drawing only enemies. Well, this time it helped, because we don't have to mind that guy. But the agent of the king is... Uh, engaged with us, so we have to deal with that guy. So first action, we'll play manual dexterity and uh, unexpected courage. So uh, we are six versus two, evading. Uh, four versus two, evading. It is a zero, so we get rid of the curse token and succeed, which is good. So this guy is evaded, and we drop it there. We'll move, and we'll move. And it is the dressing room, so we could heal her, but uh, it is a bit hard to investigate this guy here. So this gets plus two shroud, so we are investigating two versus six, so we have to... Oh yeah, we draw one more card. 
Okay, Spectral Razor, so that goes into the discard. So, uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We discard our hand. Draw a new hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stray Cats. Uh, look what I found. Mr. Raven. Test of Wheel and all gearing. Well, we have a lot of icons to try the investigate action. At least once. But that is it, so... Uh, we also get one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Uh, that will advance the act, which will mean we'll get the big baddie of this scenario, the Royal Emissary. Okay, so uh, search all set aside cards and victory display for the Royal Emissary enemy and spawn it in the theater. Uh, after the Royal Emissary is added to the victory display, remove all Doom from play and reset the agenda deck to agenda 1A, then place 3 Doom on that agenda. Okay, well, we get the Royal Emissary. I'll just uh, stooge these over here. Actually, I'll put all of these enemies over here. Out of the way. So, the Royal Emissary spawns in the theater. It is massive, so... Uh, that is uh, annoying. And uh, we will be getting horror next round uh, from that. It's uh, Luckily it's easy to evade, so we could try to run past it if we need to go to the lobby or something like that. But first, uh, uh, yeah, so that was uh, the agenda advancing. So the limit is six, so we don't have a lot of time if we won't be killing the emissary. And we get an encounter card, and it is Spirit Solvent attached to your location. After you leave the attached location, you must either take one more or lose one action. Place one of your clues in the attached location, discard Spirit, spirit Solvent. So that is not that bad, but it is not good either way. So, first action we will try to investigate this man in the pallet mask. I am spending the old key ring, Mysterious Raven. Look what I found. So, I am also... Yeah, I can't use this because I'm using this. So we are... Um, four, five... We are six versus six, so... <laughs> Not good odds, but I have been... I, I think... Yeah, uh, Monster doesn't help, so the odds are not in my favor. Well, zero. So we succeed, so I'm just double second, so six. Two, three, four, five, six. So we just barely succeed. So, uh, defeat the man in the pallet mask. So, when the man in the pallet mask it would be discarded from play advance. Uh, alarm mists. Instead of discarding man in the pallet mask, move him to the lobby. Tim is over there now. Add one uh, cultist and one tablet to the bag. So we get this added to the chaos bag. Place one horror on backstage. I'm actually using these float tokens instead of the horror. Until the end of the scenario, horror on location represents a creeping mist, uh, and each location with the horror gains fourth. When you would move from this location, test will power three. If you fail, you must either cancel the effects of the move or lose all remaining actions and end your turn after completing the effects of the move. Okay, well, then uh, fourth at the end of the round, place one horror on each location with no horror that is connected to a location with horror uh, objective. If each undefeated investigator has resigned at dance. Okay. And uh, yeah, while the man in the palace mask is not in play, lobby gets resigned. So we need to investigate the man in the palace mask once more. I will play down Stray Cat. 
and uh, last action I will move down actually <laughs> I won't because this guy will move this guy will move and they will squash me so I will gain a resource yeah so these go into the back also so last action I'll gain a resource He'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, the Royal Emissary and the Agent of the King move here. Then um, at the end of the enemy phase, each investigator at Royal Emissary location or a connecting link location takes one horror. So we'll take one horror. Then at the end of the round, place one horror on location with no horror that's connected to a location. So, we'll just add these float tokens pretty much everywhere. So, the mist is spreading here. Okay. That is it. So, that is, uh, yeah, we're ready. Uh, we discard a hand, we draw a new hand. One, two, three, four, five. Gain one resource. We have uh, read the signs, drawn to the flame, read the signs, transport the supplies, and unexpected courage. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. The encounter card for this round is La Contesse. Uh, so, spawn at the balcony. So, this enemy is annoying, but I think we try to avoid it as much as possible. I'm actually running out of... well, I'll just mark it with this money token. Okay, well, again, we are throwing all the enemies, so this is not, not going that well. Mm. So, first action, we'll move here, and uh, we'll take one horror. Uh, free action, we'll discard the stray cat to... Exhaust the royal uh, agent of the king. Second action will uh, evade the royal emissary. I don't have any other cards than the unexpected courage to commit, so I'll commit that. Uh, four versus two. It is a skull, and uh, we still haven't taken three horrors, so it is a minus one. We pass. This enemy is evaded. Last action will move here. And uh, that is it. Enemy actions. This enemy hunts here because uh, it is able to move. Down to the theater from the balcony. After you defeat La Contesse, place her in your hand as a hidden card. Uh, while Contesse is in your hand, she gains La Contesse counts as a four cards instead of one. <laughs> so we really don't want to defeat this, we just want to evade it. Okay. So, uh, she will hit us for one horror. We discard our hand. We draw five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's see if we get the Patrice's violin. Stray cat. Winging it. Look what I found. Mysterious raven. So. Uh, yeah, ready up. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, at the last round I forgot to take one horror at the end of the enemy phase, also I forgot at the end of the round to advance the mist. Oh yeah, and we had to, to move out of the mist. We had to test willpower. I had a lot of willpower icons, so I would have been uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 versus 3. So we would have passed that, so nothing, no. Don't need to work out what would have happened. Okay, 
uh, we'll add Doom. Uh, two of six encounter card is a swarm of rats. So, of course, it's an enemy. We're drawing all the enemies. First action. Uh, we will evade this uh, contest. Uh, we are three, four, five, six against three. Minus one, we evade the contest. So, this here. Okay, I'm marking these rats with this. Uh, we'll punch the rats. So, uh, two against one, minus one is one, so we hit, kill it. That is good. Last action will just try to move. So, mm, testing five versus three. Yeah. It is a minus two, so we barely succeed, but we are able to here. We reveal the lobby. There is one clue here. And. Uh, the man in the pallet mask is uh, is aloof, so we don't engage it. But we'll get uh, two lobby locations in play. This doesn't matter. We don't have time to investigate this. Just try to get this guy defeated and resign. Oh yeah, we don't reveal this. Okay, uh, I'll put this here. This here. It really, really doesn't matter. We are nearing the end of the scenario. Okay. That is our turn. Enemy actions. This enemy is hot here. This enemy ready is... Oh yeah, this was ready. Okay. So I'll just pile these enemies over here are at the same location coming at us so we ready up discard our hand draw a new hand one two three four five give me a lot of intellect nice 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 we got the coins of power okay we have a chance for next round and we gain a resource so That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add Doom. Please, no enemies. <laughs> of course, swarm of rats. What else could it be? Okay, well, I think we're just ignoring these. Doing our best to... Uh, Investigate the man in the pallet mask and resign. So, first action, I will actually take one damage to draw a card. Doesn't help us. We'll take another attack of opportunity from the rats to investigate the man in the pallet mask. We are committing these. We add one curse token into the bag. Okay. Um, can't add anything else to the test, so committing the promise of prow and six cents. So uh, we are investigating four, six, seven versus six. So we okay. Uh, the skulls won't help us. Hmm. Okay. Well, minus one better needed it is a zero so the man in the pallet mask is defeated I'll uh, remove it from the game last action resign and that is it and we get out so 
if each undefeated investigator has three signed advance, so the investigator must decide choose one. We are, we have to warn the police about what's going on, or the police won't believe us. We have to solve this mystery on our own. So I think we'll go to the police because Patrice isn't like a gun ho, ho investigator. So we'll go to the police. We read our one. So, uh, reading the R1, did you really think the police would help you uh, in your Campbell of Record that you tried to warn the police, mark one conviction to your campaign log? If you stole front box or if you didn't, we skip that. If your Campbell of Record, the stranger is onto you at the man in the pallet mass weakness to the lead investigator's deck, doesn't count for deck size for the remainder of the campaign. Anytime the bearer of the man in the pallet mass Leave the campaign for any reason, choose a new investigator from the bearer of the man in the palace mass weakness and add it to that investigator's deck. In your campaign log under Jason the Stranger, place two tally marks for the remainder of the campaign. Keep a running tally of the number of times the palace mass, the man in the palace mass is defeated during the game. Each tally will bring you one step closer to the truth. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value on each card in the Play and uh, well, we didn't get that many experience, we only got one, two, so we'll get two experience before we advance to the last king. So we'll mark one conviction, we'll add the man in the pallet mass to our deck, and uh, we also will upgrade our deck with two experience. But that was Patrice uh, in uh, Return to the Curtain Call. Uh, look forward to the return to last king scenario next uh, sometime soon. So thanks for watching and until next time